There's a lot of fun stuff in this shot. A cute little monster hovering in the air surrounded by bubbles. I've prepared my layout in USD Composer, set up my camera's basic lighting and materials. The character is a little round monster wearing a propeller hat that actually lets them hover in the air. I click play on the timeline to check the animation is present and correct. This character animation is actually stored in a USD file shared between Blender and USD Composer. It helps to have a common file format in my production pipeline. To introduce bubbles into this scene, I'm going to use the particles engine built into USD Composer. Click the create menu, then mesh and pick one. This mesh acts as the source of your particles, the point of origin for the bubbles we generate. With the mesh still selected, click the create menu, then particles, then select with point instancer. Right away, we see the mesh now emits little shapes. These shapes are just placeholders to indicate how the particles generate, move and disappear. I'm going to place the mesh over here because I want the particles to generate off camera but float past the character. I can already get a sense of that in real time. I need to replace the placeholder shapes with the geometry I want. I click the create menu, then mesh, then sphere. I then need to assign this mesh to the particle generator so I click window, particles editor. In the Particles Editor tab, I double-click Edit Particle System and select the correct graph. Looking at the graph, I want to work with the Point Instancer node. I need to connect the bubble mesh with the prototype's slot. So I select the mesh in the outliner, drag and drop it into the Particle System and specify the node type. In this case, OG Prim node. I then left-click the output from the bubble node to the prototype's input on the Point Instancer node. With this connection, the bubble mesh is now used for all the particles. Viewing things through the camera, it's great to see a flurry of bubbles floating past the character. All that matters really is what's presented within the frame. This simple workflow offers a straightforward way to add dynamic effects animation to enhance the emotional beat of your shot. Fun, uplifting, delightful.